The FCPF, the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility, has been supporting a number of countries, almost 50 countries, for the last couple of years to build their capacity to participate in a global mechanism for Red Plus. Part of that uh, development is also the building of capacity for those countries to be able to regularly monitor their forest estate, regularly monitor their deforestation and forest degradation related emissions uh, and the impacts of, uh, of their interventions in, in that regard. Now there is a great need uh, for countries to, to build the capacity in that regard. There, uh, there is very, very limited capacity uh, in many of the countries and uh, part of what the FCPF provides is uh, technical assistance and fac the facilitation of uh, guidance to these countries. There is a wide range of technical materials available globally, internationally, but it's not uh, user-friendly, it, it is not easily accessible and useful for these countries. So what we have done uh, over the last year is in, in, a, in a collaboration with the Wageningen University and a number of international uh, centers of excellence and international experts is to develop a comprehensive set of training materials to support countries in their efforts to build their forest monitoring systems and a capacity to re regularly and periodically report on their emissions. The materials were created from a large number of internationally renowned experts in the field. There were more than 20 involved from both developed and developing countries. And uh, they have basically put a fair amount of effort in translating the information that is available in a series of background materials, such as the Govsi Gold source book, such as the Global Forest Observation Initiative methods and guidance document, but also others into uh, a set of training mat materials so the information that is contained there can actually be put in a format so it can be used actively in, for educational uh, purposes. The modules were then independently reviewed by another set of experts, um, it's about 20, and so they have gone through several rounds of revisions, which we now are happy to have uh, modules that are both um, technically robust but also easily accessible and use useful in a, in a developing country context. Um, they are structured in three main groups. The first one is related to design and planning. Uh, it contains a module, for example, on the policy context. So what are the decisions on the UN climate convention level? What are the IPCC good practice guidelines? How do they relate to Red Plus measuring and monitoring? We have a module on the design of national forest monitoring systems. What guidance can be given on that? And there's another module that's dealing with the assessment of drivers. We have a Second large set of uh, um, modules which are really technical, um, they are really on the measuring and monitoring part, how to use remote sensing for mapping forest area change, for monitoring forest degradation, how do you carbon stock assessments, how do you uh, do emissions estimation, how you estimate emissions from, from, from fires, uh, how do you do community-based monitoring and integrate that in national systems. We have a large module really on uncertainties, um, which is of concern to many. Uh, and we have another module which dealing with evolving technologies. Uh, we are all aware that technologies are evolving quite quickly and we need to have some uh, explanation uh, in, in this training setting on what these technologies are and can potentially do. And a third set of modules uh, related to, then, to the assessment and the reporting that includes, for example, how to build a national data infrastructure and management system, um, how you develop a reference level, and how do you do uh, performance reporting for Red Bus, both using the World Bank uh, methods and methods, methodological framework and the IPCC good, good practice guidelines. All of these modules, uh, you have a lecture, and the lecture is basically a couple of PowerPoint slides. We have more than 700 slides uh, available from all the modules. Uh, each slide has a set of very specific uh, lecture notes, so anybody who's been using can, can use them in an easy way. Um, for each module we have country examples, so not only about the background, but also how it, this has been done and has been uh, generating useful information on the country level. And we have exercises, um, mostly quite simple exercises uh, that are also accompanying these modules. And since we have lectures, country examples and exercises, we can address with these materials 
policy people who really like to understand the background, uh, people who are more on the practical side want to know so how I can implement that then on a country level based on country experiences and concrete exercises for some of the technical people so they can learn how to actually do it um, if they ask for example to fill in an IPCC reporting table uh, or uh, want to calculate emissions based on activity data and emission factors. The materials have really been designed to be used in country, for example, in a workshop or a training or an individual session uh, that's being organized in the country. So everything is available uh, both on the FCPF website and on the GovC Gold website. So whoever is organizing a training or workshop can go there and download all the materials. Um, the materials is a complete pack with the slides, the background materials, the exercises. So it can be used and adapted in any way that is uh, required or necessary for your context. So anybody who wants to do a training on all the modules can just go and, and download everything or you can choose and pick a particular topic uh, to use. Um, and the idea is really that the materials will be used by, by different users consistently. So we're also talking to our partners on how they can use the training materials. The, um, the World Bank teams will, prob will certainly be using these uh, going forward. And we're also considering making the materials available through other means, for example, through e-learning and, and self-learning exercises.